Hi, I'm Holland Taylor. And I'm Mary Louise Burke. And we're both playing wonderful parts in David Lindsay and Bear's play Ripcord. And Manhattan Theatre Club. At Manhattan Theatre yeah. Club. So we've got a whole dosy do here. We didn't even plan it. Ripcord is mostly a comedy about two women of a certain age living in an assisted living facility. And they have a bet with each other over the room. Right? Yeah. Should I say anything more than yeah, that? Yeah, no, I think that's enough, that they, they are, don't really get along. They're very different personalities, and they feel that like they can't end up both staying in this room, so the bet is a way of deciding who gets to stay. I play uh, a woman named Abby, who is a reader, and very much keeps to herself, and really likes it that way. But and it's cranky. And it's very cranky, and I'm also you, so you find out in time that she has reasons for that. But that's her style. And this one is a bubbly, ever present, cheery, endlessly positive creature that comes in. And as usual with such creatures, she's completely unwelcome. It's almost like Spy versus Spy, yeah. if anyone remembers that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> with, with older ladies, ladies of a certain age. I play the son-in-law and I'm married to Rachel. And we get roped into the bet and, uh, and sort of roll around in the uh, the foolery and the, the one up upsmanship and it's a it's a blast and there are lots of surprises along the way um it's like when Fraser and Ali got together it's that kind of dynamic um, without the actual fisticuffs they they bring they, here's what they bring they bring uh, very different energies uh, to each of their characters um, but they bring such a mutual understanding of each other as actors they are they were instantly pals uh, when they first got together uh, in rehearsal and uh, so that great synchronization of actors and the great polarization of characters is just gold. I mean I always love like a David Lindsay Bear play is always like a roller coaster like you just never know where it's going and I love that because I attempt writing sometimes and I, I never think of these like I just think very linearly and he's just very he just has all these little like whack-a-mole surprises. Yeah. I think people are going to go in expecting a good night at the theater and some laughs and they won't be disappointed there, but all of the surprises we have in store for them I think are ultimately going to reveal a lot of really wonderful heart and emotion, which is an, a wonderful added bonus for a great play.